Hi, I'm Cosmas Ejong Ndelejo, Technical Advisor for Schistosomiasis and Soil Transmitted Hematiasis at Citerus. I'm going to be presenting the impact of mistrust and inadequate social mobilization during mass drug administration with Prezuquantel in Guinea. Citerus has been working in the entity sector for several decades with extensive experience in mass drug administration. We currently run a Schisto SCH program covering five countries across Central and West Africa, namely DRC, Cameroon, Nigeria, Guinea, and Guinea-Bissau. Our work in Guinea started in the Nzere Kore forest region, where we treat school-aged children and adults with prezoquantel against schistosomiasis in Lola, Yomo, and Zerekore health districts because of the very high prevalence of schistosomiasis in these districts. In 2019, we secured funding from GiveWell to expand in Kinzia, Conakry, and Boke regions, covering five health districts. This presentation highlights the impact of miscommunication arising from side effects following mass drug administration in Kinzia and Boke regions, as you can see highlighted in the red text boxes. Activities began very well in Freya, Koya, and Jebreka health districts. Freya Health District was the first to launch the MJ campaign on Monday, March 18, 2019, after training of health workers, community volunteers, and teachers. The launching ceremony was presided by the local administrator called the Prefet, but also saw the participation of health and education officials. There you find the Prefet at the Col Premier de Gandhi in Freya Health District, demonstrating drug administration using a dose pole. The student in the picture is also measuring the height of a student to determine the number of tablets required and also marking the index finger to indicate that treatment was administered. In Guinea and other countries, we operate hybrid platforms where treatment is simultaneously delivered in school and in communities to optimize program reach to both enrolled and non-enrolled school-aged children. There you find also um, uh, the, uh, a CDD uh, recording um, those that have been treated in a community register designed by the National Entity Program. Planning and training had already taken place. Um, everything was moving on well uh, with the campaign um, until drug administration started. Sites of us and the National Entity Program were led up present side effects by independent supervisors of a local NGO called Association pour la Promotion de la Santé en Guinée. This local NGO was hired to support um, independent monitoring and also um, social mobilization. Field teams from Koya district were first to report parental unhappiness due to side effects reported by their children. Additional reports from Dubreka and Freya district indicated other cases with side effects, causing protests in some schools and health centers in these districts. News of the side effects was spread across communities in three districts, the capital and even to other localities around. The reported side effects were diarrhea, abdominal pain, dizziness, fever, and rumors of death were also in certain papers and radios. Out of 6,000 plus kids treated, 200 plus came down with side effects. It's one thing to have a crisis, it's another thing to manage a crisis. Um, the Minister of Health in Guinea demonstrated um, good leadership in crisis management. A cabinet meeting was hosted on the same day, um, on March 18, 2019, and a decision was made to suspend distribution of drugs until further notice. A delegation from the Minister of Health, um, headed by the National Director of Community Health and Director of Health Inspection, uh, made several visits to the affected areas to rebuild trust in the communities affected. On the same day, MDA was suspended 
a TV speech was delivered by the National Director of Major Epidemics and Pandemics to reassure the population that there were no deaths as suggested by the rumors. The crisis was de-escalated under 24 hours and calm was returned to the communities affected. The numerous conspiracy theories surrounding um, the COVID-19 pandemic with a lot of misinformation has made the management of fake news quite challenging. And I will be inviting us to a breakout session to discuss how to identify misinformed communities. Thank you very much.